basically looking at ways to, to save money, cut costs on our heating bills um, at Lockhart Activity Centre um, as well as here at the farm and we, we started looking at alternatives to, to paying a fortune for oil basically. And then after speaking to some of the tenants, um, the owners of the cottages here, they all seemed very keen to, to, to be included in a system um, to help everyone out basically. So we've installed on the farm here at Ardcon in a 200 kilowatt wood chip boiler. Um, it has the ability to run on either wood chip, which we run it on at the moment, or on wood pellets. We can produce a chip here on site and make sure it's exactly the right size and the right moisture content for the, for the boiler itself. Um, it's connected to, to a thermal storage tank, it's uh, 5,000 litres. Um, so the boiler itself only heats the thermal storage tank um, and then each individual property has its own pump um, which draws the, the heat itself through our, our insulated underground pipe into each property. Um, the 5,000 litre tank is, is quite essential because it gives us a huge kind of heat store basically. So in the morning for example when there are lots of the, the properties are looking to have showers, looking to use heat all at the same time, it gives us that buffer so that everyone can can use as much heat as they would like. Um, we've done the system using heat exchangers, so in each property there's a heat exchanger. The water in our actual boiler system isn't connected directly to each property. It goes through a heat exchanger, which allows the property to take the heat out of the system um, as efficiently as possible. If there's any problem with the boiler, it sends a message straight to my phone and to the the engineer's phone so we know there was a, there's some sort of problem. Since the system's been in, there's been next to no issues. We had a few teething problems within the first couple of weeks, but since then the boilers run almost seamlessly. Um, but it gives us a peace of mind knowing that there is an alert there should something go wrong. We've actually had the system upgraded and it's now connected directly to our, our, the router on the farm here. So I can go onto my phone if I'm away from, away from the farm and check the boiler is running, um, can change settings, control the boiler remotely. The farmhouse here um, relatively large farmhouse was using using a lot of oil and um, it's a traditional stone build and we've, we've tried a lot over the years we've replaced all the windows double glazed insulated as much as we can but some of these old granite houses are still difficult to heat and um, so it's allowed us to have a much more even heat throughout the property we don't have to worry too much about putting the heating on at different times of the day financially it just makes a lot more sense you know, we can we know how much it's going to cost for, for the whole year the way we funded the project is through the energy saving trusts uh, district heating loan scheme which was was an excellent way to do it really in, in total it's it's cost over 120,000 pounds but the, the loan scheme itself is very simple relatively straightforward and um, it actually gave us some, some useful tools when we're completing the the, pro, the the forms once we had that done it was it was relatively, relatively straightforward we had, we had a couple quotes for for installers um, which we provided to the Energy Saving Trust. The funding was essential really, it just allowed the scheme to go ahead. And we might not have been able to do the scheme had the Energy Saving Trust scheme not been in place. This is going to sound silly, but it's a, a, it's a hotter heat. <laughs> Honestly, it's, a, it's, it's superb. One can pop it on in a cold day like today and uh, enough to think uh, how much are we burning up here. And it, so it's quite fantastic, so it's got a, a, quite a, an impact uh, so uh, there's plenty of other ways we can find to, to place money as we know, so it's financially, it's fantastic. So when we were designing the system, we had a look at how much uh, energy and, and heat um, are required in each house and also how much fuel each house was using. Therefore, we could, we could work out the, the savings in, in wood chip and fuel and the carbon savings that the scheme was, was, um, was giving us. And we, we estimated it would be somewhere around a third of the cost and the amount of fuel would be needed to heat the houses. There are lots of people actually benefiting from the, the renewable um, and much more um, cost effective heat that this system provides.